Board of County Commissioners. All right, thank you. If you guys all wanna come forward, I'll move the following proclamation. All right, I move the proclamation recognizing February, February as Black History Month in El Paso County, Colorado. Whereas for generations, African Americans have exemplified the American spirit by overcoming struggles, breaking down barriers, and striving for equality for themselves and others. And whereas African American history plays a significant role in the American story, making this great nation a better place to live, work, and play for everybody. And whereas El Paso County, Colorado, <clears throat> and the Pikes Peak region has had among its past and present residents many African American leaders, educators, and social justice pioneers with state, national, and international historical prominence, <coughs> including Horace Shelby, George L. Hackley, Aaron Bailey, Reverend James B. Gregg, John F. Cooper, Shirley Graham Dubois, Roosevelt Collins, Greta McRae, Leon Young, William Seymour, Fannie Mae Duncan, and many others. And whereas the strength and determination of men and women like these remind us that our region is made up of people whose contributions continue to make it stronger and better. And whereas since 1976, February has been designated as Black History Month in the United States, in which the stories of strong men and women and the events that have shaped the African-American experience in the US, Colorado, and El Paso County should be recognized and celebrated. Now, therefore, the Board of El Paso County Commissioners hereby recognizes February 2019 as Black History Month in El Paso County, Colorado, and reminds everyone to use this commemoration of Black History Month to serve as a reminder of the need for meaningful dialogue and shared commitment to collective action that uplifts and empowers. It's done this 14th day of February, 2019, in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and it's signed by the Board of County Commissioners, Mark Waller Chair, Lohinos Gonzalez Jr. Vice Chair, Stan Vanderwerf, Holly Williams, and Cami Brimmer members. And it's attested to by our clerk and recorder, Chuck Broerman. Second. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Allen, the floor is yours. Good morning, Mr. Chair, Vice Chair, members of the County Commission. At first, I would like to start by uh, recognizing these three ladies behind me on this Valentine's Day that came out. Uh, to my right is uh, my wife, who is the Chair of the Religious Affairs, Dr. Reverend Karen Allen. Uh, directly behind me is my uh, Chair for the Education, uh, Ms. Helen Cross Ice. And to the left of me is my hard blood of the organization, my uh, office manager, uh, Miss, uh, what's her name? Miss, <laughs> Miss Janet Holloway. And I see Janet every day, and yesterday we got into a big argument because I wasn't doing things right, so she had to jack me up. But anyway, two of the other members that's located here, to uh, Commissioner, Commissioner Vanderwerf, who's a member of the organization, uh, to Commissioner Gonzalez, who has been in the civil rights struggle with me since I was the president of the NAACP and has always supported me. I, I bring you greetings from the Pikes Peak Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Uh, we come before you to accept this proclamation, but two days ago we also accepted a proclamation from the city, and we were very appreciative of that. But we left them with the thought of is that we in this county and this city just cannot continue to recognize black history in February. This, this, this county has a very impressive black history underrod of people that helped the county grow. Their name is listed in the proclamation. Uh, we have to move forward and to be a better people to do that. Uh, we can't just recognize Dr. King and the work he has done in January. Uh, that, 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 that's, uh, that serves us no, per no, uh, no, that serves us no purpose. What I, ask, what I would ask of you as county commissioners, to look into your heart and your mind and let's celebrate all people and let's work to make black history American history. Let's do away with this once a month in 28 days. Let's have the courage somewhere in El Paso County to shock the world, to shock the world and say that we in Colorado, especially in El Paso County, 
we're going to recognize black history 365 days because you know what? Black history is American history. And I think you have the courage to do that. I spoke with the chair uh, a couple of weeks ago. He bought me a fine lunch downtown. And we had some concern. We had the conversation about his concerns, excuse me, about African Americans' involvement in the community and what he could do and what, what, I could, what I could do to help him move that forward because we do look as if we are a separate community. And, and that, sh that, that should be a concern to all governing bodies. Uh, it, it shouldn't be a point where you go to one community and they feel uncomfortable and another community uh, don't want to be involved. So uh, again, we thank you for this, but we also challenge you as leaders. And I hear someone say that you're going to be elected again. I'm pretty sure you will. I'm pretty sure you, you'll be here for another six years. So in that time, be courageous. Step outside the comfort zone. Go into communities that don't look like you or haven't met you and shake hands and say, what can the El Paso County Commissioner do to make an inclusive or make you feel inclusive into this community? Because it's not there yet, but we can get there. So not to linger on, thank each and every one of you for your, for your support. The organization appreciate it. We hope to be around another six years. Thank you very much. Ladies, would you like to introduce All right, thank you. Uh, would that? anybody else like to speak? Are you sure? Can we get a picture with the county commission? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring it up here. We're going to allow the commissioners to have a couple of minutes now. Roger. And then what I was going to do, since we uh, don't have anything left on our calendars, maybe just get through the rest of our calendar. Okay. And then we'll do a picture uh, after we adjourn. That way we can visit and we don't have to go back on the record. How about that? Sounds All right. Good. Thank you. So, well, no, hang on a second here. I'm going to bring it up here. Let's, um, who wants to kick it off? Commissioner Vanderwerf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> As always, just wonderful. And I'm proud to be a uh, paying member of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. <laughs> Trying to get you on the board. That's right. That's right. We can work on that. I just yes. might be there. Who knows? Uh, one other thing I'd like to thank you personally for and thank um, SCLC for uh, was when I went with you guys and we did that prayer walk. You know, that was really, actually, that was inspiring. So uh, for whatever it's worth, just don't know why, just maybe, you know, no opportunity or whatever. I'd never done a prayer walk through a neighborhood before, so that was my first <coughs> time. And it was uplifting. You know, I really enjoyed it. So uh, I have you all to thank for getting me out there to do a prayer walk, and I thought, I thought it was awesome. So I'm looking forward to doing another one sometime soon. And uh, I just want to thank everything that you guys are doing for the community because you're helping us to... Um, do everything that we need to do to make our community as whole as it possibly is. And we do already have a great community, but we are working on filling in those little holes that are in the corners and the spaces so that uh, we are just absolutely rock solid wherever you go. And uh, I think we are most of the way there, but there's more to do. Uh, so I look forward to working with you all on that. And thank you very much again for what you guys do in SCLC. I love the organization and I loved the prayer walk, thanks. And it was a blessing having you there. Thank you, sir. Commissioner Gonzalez. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. Henry, I just want to thank you for all the great work that you all do. Uh, it's been uh, my pleasure being and working with you for the last several years on different issues. Uh, I, I was impressed by the fact you got a free lunch out of Commissioner Waller. I've been trying to get a free lunch from him for two years, and uh, it still uh, evades me sometimes. Uh, but there uh, are no free lunches with me. He had to listen to me for a couple hours, so he paid for it for sure. Uh, but but you guys do great work. Uh, you know, MLK. You know, famously said, you know, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And uh, I've seen several occasions where issues that have come up in the city, you have jumped on to make sure that the issue has been addressed for those people who were not treated fairly, uh, whether it's a government entity or a school entity, that they got their voice and you were the voice for them. And, and I appreciate all that great work that you guys do for the community. Thank you. And I appreciate you for all your years of support. Commissioner. Commissioner Williams. I just, we just, I just appreciate all that you do for the community. Thank you. Commissioner Bremer. Um, I've heard the word community a lot, and you spoke of, um, of coming together and realizing that we're, we are one community. Um, we also talked a lot about um, 
you know, local, local leaders um, and state leaders and, and American history um, being a part of it. Um, but one of the quotes um, from a famous African um, that stands out to me is that my humanity is bound up in yours for we can only be human together. That's from Desmond Tutu, um, who fought a fight um, much, much too late across the world. Um, but I, I, think, I think you're right. It's also part of, part of, part of world history. We are humans together. Um, we can learn to celebrate and cry and uh, work together for the future. I look forward to that. Um, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Bremer. Well said. <clears throat> you know, um, one of the things I appreciate most about you, Henry, is the ability to have that frank discussion. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed sitting down for lunch with you, and I think it's something that we should do on a regular basis. In fact, we could invite Commissioner Gonzalez, and he could pay uh, for a change because he doesn't do that very often either. So, but but it, it's it's so important, I think, especially in today's world, to be able to have the open, honest communication as we try to um, move. Uh, move our country in a way that is necessary in order for it to be successful. Because I truly believe in order for us to be successful, we all have to have the opportunity to be successful. It can't just be one group or another. It's something that's so uh, important. And I think in, in today's world, you know, we, <clears throat> we kind of lose out a little bit on, um, on how connected we all are or we all should be. And I think that makes it harder to advance the conversation and move it forward. And so I, I, I appreciate uh, so much your uh, willingness to do that and, and the way you embrace it. And I, I too have one of my favorite uh, poems is from Maya Angelou, uh, and it's a poem about uh, it, we, are, we are all more alike than we are unalike. Uh, and I think that's one of the um, best messages that I've heard in, in uh, prose form that way. And I think it's, it's a message that we would all benefit from reminding ourselves of uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Because you're right, uh, this shouldn't be uh, one month where we come together. It shouldn't be around um, Dr. King's birthday that we talk about these things. Uh, we should talk about it all year long and we should remember that we are all more alike than we are unalike. So um, with that, uh, um, I'll call the roll. Commissioner Bremer. Aye. Commissioner Vanderwerf. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Commissioner Gonzalez. Aye. And the chair votes aye. That passes unanimously. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so just hang out for one more second. I think we're going to finish.